All right, we're here with Jay Blunk, Executive Vice President of the Blackhawks, and Stan Bowman, General Manager. How often does do they uh, did Jay or the business side approach you with an idea and you say, no, we can't do that? We, we try to be as accommodating as we can because we recognize there's a lot of value in that. Uh, ultimately, um, we have to be able to connect with our fans, and most of the things he brings to us are opportunities for our players to give back a little bit and give access to our fans because they, they're the ones that make this whole thing go. I mean, we certainly have to respect the, you know, the traditions of hockey, but um, there's also the whole spirit of innovation and maybe trying things that haven't been done elsewhere. So whenever he brings an idea to, to us, we talk about it, and for the most part, uh, I think we've had uh, a pretty good success rate on things working. So you, you talked about you have bring new players and do they know that this is the culture of the Blackhawks? Uh, the one thing we do have in hockey Ed, that we have I think the best athletes in terms of um, their uh, their demeanor and their understanding and willingness to do things and so even if they're not part of the Blackhawks and they're new to the organization once they get here early on, you know, they'll, they'll talk to the group of players that have been here. And we've got, um, they're young guys still, but, you know, Jonathan and Patrick Kane have been here for four years now, and they're still in their early 20s, but they're part of that leadership group. And you've got Patrick Sharp and Seabrook, and, you know, there's guys that have been around with, with our team for the long time. So those guys know what it was like in the past. They know what it's like now. and they really enjoy playing in front of the fans and the atmosphere we've created. So I think they kind of help us, you know, say, look, look, this is something the way we do it in Chicago, and it might be new to you coming from another organization, but it really works here. How much do you share? How much do you get from Stan as far as, or do you guys information do you share as far as personnel decisions? Uh, you know, maybe there's, maybe you're thinking of a player who you might want to promote or, or something like that. And mm -hmm. does Stan, will Stan say, well, maybe you might not want to go there because I might be, there might be a move coming soon? There has to be a confidence. There has to be, uh, the hockey guys have to know that the business guys have their back with regard to confidence uh, with that. You can understand the complications behind that. And that's what makes this very unique. But it does work, and there have been occasions when that's happened before. Uh, and, and likewise, we've had Stan uh, in our meetings, uh, and Stan actually recognized something uh, with regard to uh, our campaign last year, and we changed a few things. You know, another example of, uh, uh, of the synergistic approach within the Blackhawks organization that may be unique to this organization, I'm not sure, but I think it might be, is our players uh, actually attend, attend our staff meetings. And, uh, and they get to know what's going on uh, in the summer sometimes, what's, what we're doing, how the convention's put together, uh, or, uh, you know, occasionally uh, they will uh, they'll come down and, and, and participate in, in one of our sponsorship meetings. When, when, I mean, when, they, when you say they attend the staff meetings, when, mm -hmm. when would they do that? Yeah, Maybe. quarterly quarterly we do an all uh, organizational yes. meeting. Mm -hmm. And uh, our owner, Rocky Wirtz, is nice enough to come and it's conducted and led by John McDonough and each department gets up and the players are invited. Uh, we also have a staff lunch mm -hmm. where the players will come do up. They come? And, and every single player comes. Mm -hmm. It's like our convention, which uh, we can't pay these players to do these things because of the restrictions on the salary cap. This is all volunteer. They show up, every single player shows up to our convention. Some are coming from uh, Europe, some right. come from you know, all reaches of the globe to come in, but they feel a responsibility to our fan base and to the organization, and, uh, and it's a volunteer basis they come in. And so they will come up, uh, a lot of times you'll see our players up in the front office, they'll stop and say hello, and they may stop in and say, you know, what are you working on today? They're very interested, they're very curious, and, uh, and, and I found them to be very engaging uh, and very interested in our business.